Maxwell has been admitted to the hospital and Kristen is in checking us into the hotel. It's dark. I have a Dewey. I have a Molly in the back, but you can't see her. It's late. We haven't eaten. The kids haven't eaten. <sighs> to hear how he did last night. Molly's doing very well, which is great. We're in a different hotel this time than we were last time, as I mentioned. And it's a little bit closer to Tops, which is nice. And um, it's it's just a nice, nicer hotel. It's huge. <laughs> we were actually upgraded to a two-bedroom suite for free, which was awesome. And the rooms on the first floor which is great for the dogs because um, this hotel has exterior doors and um, I can't imagine trying to carry Molly up to two or more flights of stairs <laughs> but she's doing really well and we did not hear anything from Tufts overnight and as we've learned no news is good news so hopefully we'll continue to you know be on that track. We're going to probably leave here around 8.30 this morning to uh, head over to Tufts so we can be in the parking lot for when they call and have them talk to us in person. Uh, one thing that frustrates me about Tufts is their communication policy or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, Erin just went to get herself some coffee because the in-room coffee is horrible, she said, and she couldn't drink it. So. So we're going to have some breakfast, feed the dogs, and then head over to Tufts. We just got to the campus of the hospital. Hoping to get an update on Maxwell today and a plan. <coughs> We'd love to be able to go home. <laughs> but uh, just want our boy to be okay. It's a really beautiful campus. I'd be happy to never see it again, though. Yeah. Or to see it in a non-emergent fashion. Yeah. Turn left onto Willard Street. Then the destination is... Have office will travel? <sighs> we're not in a van down by the river working. We're in a van in the parking lot working. <laughs> I have yarn with me. I for thought I had forgotten my socks, but I brought those. And I have my sparkly blankets. And we have a Mollywood! Hi, pretty baby! And we just wait, right, babe? We just wait. This is where we are. Jesus Christ. And that 4,000 and that other 4,000, that's cost. We are back at the hotel and I thought I'd give you a little tour. The only downside of this one is that it's not to a hallway, it's to the outside. But I think I hear Molly. Let me show you the room. <clears throat> We've got a nice kitchen. We even have an oven, fridge, microwave, coffee maker, dishwasher, which we don't have at home, garbage disposal, which we don't have at home. <clears throat> we just went to the store and picked up a couple things. We have a desk, um, table, Molly and mama, 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 bathroom with outdoors, and here's a bedroom, 
with a television. But there's another bedroom. This is a two bedroom. We got upgraded. Another full closet. And here we have a all in one bathroom. Hi! So exciting. And we have a Dewey and a Molly. And we have a little patio area, which is good for Dewey. Let's go into the restroom. And now I need to shut him up. Quiet. Silence. Molly, you have your biggest fan? So now that we're back at the hotel, I'll fill you in a little bit on what's going on. Max had a, a large group of cluster seizures yesterday. And on top of that, when we took him to our vet, come here, Molly. He had almost no protein. <clears throat> so that is very alarming because her, his brother, Rudy, passed away from PLE. And, um, which is protein losing something. So we called the neurologist and, you know, asked what we should do because we needed some medication guidance. And he said, you should come here right now. So we packed up, loaded up the car, and headed down to Massachusetts. It took us over four hours because Max continued to have focal seizures in the car. And um, I ended up sitting on the floor in the back of the van um, because he kept trying to throw himself into the front seat. And I was concerned we were going to crash the car. Um, met with the neurologist this morning. They were really pushing for an MRI, which we uh, do not want to do because Max has a heart murmur. It's very invasive. He would have to be put under sedation, um, in a full sedation. They wanted to do a um, spinal tap, which we are also against. And because he has the protein losing whatever is going on, that is really more concerning to us because that is critical. That can that could kill him like tomorrow if we don't figure out the cause and how to treat it. So we made some hard decisions. We had a hard talk with the neurologist and said, this is our dog. This is what we're going to do. And we've decided to do a bile, bile something test about in terms of seizures. It's a blood test. We're doing a special urine test to see if he's losing protein through the urine. We are doing an Addison's test because that has been in question for a while. If he, this could be Addison's disease. We are doing a cardiac consult because he has some um, irregularity in some of the valves of his heart and the murmur and tachycardia. He's tachycardic again today. And also, oh, we're having an internal medicine consult to try to get to the root of what is going on with this protein. Now, um, they want to keep him overnight again tonight to monitor for any more seizures, but he is not currently having seizures, which is good. I don't know that they actually will end up keeping him tonight, but we'll see. We have an appointment or a meeting scheduled with the neurologist again at 5 today, who is being the lead on this, uh, on Max's case. So, um, meetings at Tufts are not normal, but we are adamant that we have face-to-face -face time with the doctors that are treating him, so pay enough for it. Anyway, so we're going back at five. We'll meet with Dr. Scherf and then we will get to have a short visit with Maxwell, but he is in the ICU and he will remain in the ICU until he is discharged. So, um, the dogs cannot go into visit. I think that's where we are. Um, we just ran to the grocery store on our way home, got some food to eat so that we don't have to eat out. We got McDonald's last night. It was awful. It was awful awful i mean mcdonald's is not good period but last night it was awful molly would not eat a french fry from mcdonald's do you have you ever seen a dog turn their nose up at mcdonald's i hadn't anyway so i'm gonna put some food in the oven for myself because we have an oven and uh kristen has something she's gonna make for herself but she just went to see if we can get a late checkout tomorrow so yeah that's where we are right now having some lunch these are uh made right at the store but i just bought them to reheat Kristen's gonna try them for the first time they're from roach brothers they're called honey stung drummies look at this one where's the other one where's molly where's molly
a schnoozle fest in front of her fan. <laughs> One of them. Hi. <laughs> we do travel with fans, by the way. I just came in from letting Max out, or Dewey out, going out with him, and there was no water in the coffee pot, and I couldn't figure out why. Well, I didn't close this all the way. I should not be allowed to operate hot stuff. But we did hear from our potential buyer. Keep your fingers keep keep your fingers crossed for good news and for the stuff that's not not for bad news, but that our bad news turns to good news. There's just so much, Kristen. There's so much. She's thinking. This is her thinking face. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Kristen is <laughs> thinking. We bought a rotisserie chicken for Molly. Not really for Molly. Really for Molly. Oh, okay. She says, mmm, tasty. She didn't eat all her breakfast. Can Dewey so. have a piece? Yeah. Okay, Dewey. I have your piece of chicky chicky. Oh boy. Yes, ma'am. Is it good, Dewey? Yeah? Grouchy grouch. Molly says, this kitchen is one burner wide. <laughs> you and your brother might get stuck in here tomorrow. There is not room for his bum right there. So I didn't tell them, but um, it would seem that Max is probably going to come back with us tomorrow, but we are going to stay until Saturday here where we are. Um, and then we're going to move on Sunday and then probably live separately for a week as we prepare to uh, pass the house on to someone else. Oh. After an exchange of money, of course. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. What time is it? 8.08. I'm cooking dinner, watching the boob tube. Kristen's doing a little bit of work. Do you want to tell the YouTube what happened tonight? We were getting ready to go out the door to visit Max. And, and meet with the neurologist. To meet with the neurologist and the neurologist called and said, um, probably not a good idea for you to come because the uh, cardiac consult hasn't happened yet. It's going to be at least an hour and we don't want to make Max any more anxious because he's just starting to relax a little bit. So because Max was being sedated for the consult because he was having an echocardiogram. So yep. so it sucks. It it was devastating to us, but we did get some other news. Um, about Max. Yeah, um, we got some results. Yep, he um, does the bile not, acid was negative. Yep, he does so. The seizures are not caused by a metabolic disorder of the liver, and he had the test for Addison's disease, and he tested negative for that as well. Right. So we're waiting on the urinalysis and the echocardiogram, and, and then tomorrow a consult with the internal medicine team, who's going to tell us they want to do test X, Y, and Z, which we are not willing to do because they are both dangerous and very invasive and it's probably another eight grand worth of testing i think it's four is what they said but we're already at four grand so that brings it to eight i shot them a little video of the um whiteboard yeah so we got a timer macaroni's done oh you working hard doing just getting lots of tickets done Says, I'm hoping you drop one of those macaronis right in my mouth. I'm gonna lay down now. I'm done with you. Oh, macaroni and cheese. Oh, macaroni and cheese. Want some mac and cheese? There's broccoli in there too. Can't see it. What's your favorite part? Is it the broccoli? The broccolini. Dum, 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 dum. Good job, Molly. 